still feeling the pain of last night's loss against the Heat, and uh, Mike's going to tell us more on that. Well, I tell you what, it was a tough game for the Kings to swallow against Shaq, Daddy, and company. And we'll also have a look at Christmas with the Kings coming up next. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Dow, along with Curtis Kim for today's CIF Northern California Division II Championship. Carnegie stripped away. We got numbers here. Here comes Jabari Bird with a two-handed flush. Looking pretty there. Boy, strong move there. Five in the shot. Mario Dunn takes it strong, kisses it off the glass for two. Mario Dunn was so good off the bench for the Grizzlies last night with 10 on five of eight shooting. Martin. Calendrette stops, pops, drops. Two junior out of Silverton, Oregon. And then our kid that we talked about, number five, Cameron Forte, a forward, six foot seven, 225 pounds, Tempe, Arizona. Rolls the tip. And the first basket is good. Can't shot from downtown is good. First three pointer of the game. And Sanglin gets on on board, South five. Another jump shot, this one's short. Forte, up with the ball. Strong to the hoop for a nice little finish. 65. Forte coming to the scoring table, by the way. Strip, a foul, and it counts. How about that? Dijon Parsons, the junior out of San Francisco, grabs the ball. Sacramento State going high, low, Hall up with a steal, two on one, back to Hall, layup, right handed, good. McCurchin, bounce pass to Ingram, Ingram finds the handle, back door, reverse, good, that's a beautiful bucket. We welcome you to the Reno Event Center for today's first game between, of course, number eight Portland State against number nine Northern Colorado. Colorado will be pretty deliberate on offense. First basket is good for Northern Colorado. Running the point. There's a shot from way downtown. Yeah, that, wow, that's a nice, that's a beautiful finish. Way outside, no good. Graves up with the ball. Graves, one on two. Slices and dices and delivers. Terrific man. Good pressure. Singlin pulls it up. Doesn't go. Follow up by Ballin Boy. And he nails it at the ball. Uh, ten on the shot. Sanglin loses it as he dribbles quickly. One-on-one -on -one action here. Crandall's foul. Count the basket. Big move, big time. Three, but I think there's too much time left for that. Cannon inbounds the ball. Or I should say gets the ball. Richardson over to Singlin. The hot hand. He pulls one up from three. It's good. Wow. One drive. Crandall slices, dices, pulls it up. Does not hit. Follow up, batted away. Made some spectacular plays. Crandall has done a great job. Singlin. Wow. Come on. Three ball for Singlin. This guy is on fire. Uh, at, he's putting on the Jernus shooting display I think I've ever seen. 25 points, six threes. Hooker, one-handed runner for two. Hooker now with 32. The drama, the excitement, and yes, even the pageantry of March Madness did not disappoint. Number four, North Florida against number five, North Alabama. And boy, the local team from North Florida had a tough time today, especially from three-point land. You know, one of the bright spots was Emmanuel Adoyan, who uh, hit one of his 14 points today, but boy, the rest of the team just could not find the threes whatsoever. Kudos to the visitors, North Alabama, the Lions, behind the fabulous efforts of Emmanuel Littles with 20 points today, really took it to the uh, Ospreys in the low point area and really got all they needed to do to put this ball game the way is they won 68 to 60 and take on the Liberty Flames as they advance to the semifinals. But it was a good one here in Jacksonville. That'll do it here on ESPN Plus.